Guys, me, Jim. Um, right now we're at a little spot that I used to party at when I was younger, back in the day, when I was like 16, 17 years old. We used to come down here, we used to set up camp right here, right next to the riverbed, and just get smashed. Um, now they turned the trail, it used to be an old train track, uh, you know, going through here, but now they turn it into a bicycle trail. But this is kind of off the trail, about 50 to 100 yards. So, you know, what are we going to do with the YouTube channel? Exactly what you see. I'm going to take you guys with me. I'm going to show you things that I used to do. Or I'm going to show you new spots. I'm going to take you up mountains. We're going to go hiking. We're going to go camping. Uh, we're going to live fucking life to the fullest. And my main goal is to try to help people. Um, I'm not really sure how to do that. I'm not really sure how to approach that. My third eye is wide open. A lot of people don't understand. God gave you three eyes. Two to look and one to see. And your third eye is wide closed. For goodness sakes, they put fluoride in drinking water to dull your third eye down. To dull you down. To make you believe in what they want you to believe in. For GMO food, giving people cancer like me. You know, I'm a cancer survivor. And it was all engineer designed to, you know, just cancer's up 10,000%. No questions about it. You must know someone that has cancer or must knew someone that had cancer or heard of someone that had cancer. 20, 30 years ago, this shit wasn't too common. But now it's just like everywhere. No one gives a fuck. For goodness sakes, 5 million people a year die from cigarettes. 5 million people a year. That's more than all the wars combined. That's more than all the drugs combined. More people die from cigarettes than everything else combined. And what's the real drug out there? But people don't want to, how can I put it, look at it as a drug because the government told them it's not a drug. See, what, what people don't understand is anything that your government says, anything that they told you is false reality. They're trying to make you think different. Same with God. Same with religions, Thanksgiving to Christmas. It's all a bunch of bullshit. They hijack that shit to make us spend more money. Like saying that you got to buy your family members Christmas presents for Christmas. To show them how much you feel about them. And it's not our fault. It's not our parents' fault. It's the way the system was designed uh, to make you believe in stuff that isn't real. For goodness sakes, like God. People think God is someone that you pray to. Or God is someone that, you know, is up there. That's going to help you. That's going to guide you. That's going to be there when... He, when you need them. That's a bunch of fucking bullshit. People don't understand who God is. God is you. God is me. God is the forest, the air, to the fucking ground. God is everything. And ain't nobody gonna help you. When shit hits the fan, ain't nobody gonna fucking help you. You know, your family, everybody will be gone someday. See, I've been alone now for 12, 13 years. You know, I've been putting up walls all around me, trying to keep people away from me. You know, and now I want to start my YouTube channel back up. I told you guys that I'll never give this shit up, and I'm not going to. I just got to figure out what the fuck I need to do. I got to figure out where I need to go, how much energy do I got to put into one area, because I have the so much energy I don't even know what to do with. So much goes through this mind that I can't even express it to you guys or tell you how I really feel or what's going on inside because so much shit's just going at once that I can't really control it. So I try to do my best and just explaining what's going on up here. But I'm, I'm here to help the world. I understand that now. Um, you know, there's some people out there that don't give a shit. I'm that type of person that does give a shit. That's why I can't have no one around me. Because people take their energy and leave it off on me. And that's why I go hiking. Or go out in the woods. Just to get away from the world. But you know, we're going to end this now. 
I'll catch you guys later. This is Jimmy Jam. Peace.